Hey everyone, it's Anastasia again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I just thought I would bring you something a little different, um, and it was actually totally on the, requ on the request of a subscriber. Um, her name is Nicole Novo, is her um, YouTube name, and I will link her channel below. Um, she uh, has just started getting into um, purchasing um, Dior, or not even purchasing, I mean really loving, I guess, Dior uh, makeup and skincare. And so um, she came across my channel um, because I have posted a couple of Dior um, hauls. And um, she had requested that I put all of my Dior products in one video, I guess, to make it easier for her to, you know, to see the products, which, I mean, I can totally understand that. I think um, the reason why I had it in separate videos was because it was more of a haul than a collection. So now I'm bringing you my Dior collection. And, um, and in thinking about her request, I was like, well, I don't know. Is it necessary? And then as I was comp um, compiling all of the Dior products that I have, I realized I do have a lot. Not only do I have a lot, I bought a lot of them in 2014, so this could be like a best of 2014 sort of kind of video. And um, also, um, I have a couple of surprises um, that no one has seen and that I thought specifically Nicole might find um, interesting. Um, so, just one more quick thing. Um, I have a lot of YSL and I've been, I love YSL and I've been collecting them for a while and um, I even have like old vintage YSL and um, so I thought, oh, I'm a YSL girl, you know, this Dior thing, I'm just, you know, trying to, I guess, experiment with new brands, but I guess really, I, once I started looking at my collection, I, you know, I've had some things for a while and not only have I had them for a while, I have loved Yes, I have loved everything that I have, so I think I'm a Dior girl, and not only that, I need to continue to buy Dior products, and most importantly, get um, a relationship with a sales assistant at the Dior counter, so I can get, you know, start getting advance notice, and freebies and all that good stuff so um that's going to be there's a resolution for 2015 get to know a dior sales assistant so let's get on with my collection before we run out of time here um i figure i would start uh with um i guess like eyes <laughs> um i don't have any dior um on my eyes today i have something else which i am enjoying but that's neither here nor there. Um, let's start. Okay, so I have some eyeshadows here. I have kind of like a one of everything. Um, so this is a Dior um, single shadow. It's a Dior Show Mono in 477 Camouflage. Okay. And I'm, um, it's interesting to note that this is in the new packaging, that new black, as I said, black boring packaging. Um, so I have just a couple of things in that packaging. So this is, oops, I always forget about the mirrors. So this is the eyeshadow here. I don't know if you can see it, the color very well, but it is an army green, like a khaki green with um a little mm, I guess it's gold shimmer but it could be silver shimmer I'm not sure I haven't used this that much but it is very highly pigmented and when I do use it I really enjoy it and sorry I keep realizing I keep forgetting that I'm looking in the wrong direction into this camera so I will try to do better okay so that's a Dior Show Mono and then I have and um, it's funny, even though I've had these things for a while, I still keep all of my things. Um, I don't keep them in actually in the velvet pouches, but I do keep the velvet pouches. Um, so this one is one of my favorites. And as you can see, this has, you can see my reflection in the camera more than you can see. It has the old packaging, which is the navy with the hologram CD in the background. I wish the 
glare from my camera wasn't coming up, but hope you can see it there. And this one is my favorite totally based on, well, not totally based on packaging because I love the product too, but this is one of, um, what is it called? Sorry. This is the three color smoky and 481 smoky khaki. And this is one of my favorites because to open it, you slide it back, up pops a mirror, and then the eyeshadows are kind of like down in a little cubby, little uh, recessed area below. And so in this one, in the smoky khaki, it has all my favorite colors. It has an army green here. It has like a, um, uh, a metallic green and silver and gray color. And then down here is a metallic like gold. It's kind of like an antique gold. It has that green color in it. And um, I love this palette. If you look at the majority of the um, videos that I did during the summer, I'm wearing this palette. If I've got green on my eyes, I'm wearing this palette. I love, love, love it. The color is true, highly pigmented, with a primer, lasts all day. Then here is the, the last eyeshadow I, no, no, well, yeah, the last powder eyeshadow I have. So this one is the Five Color 609 Earth Reflection. And this is, I hope this is coming in focus. And this is again in the old packaging. So there you can see it better with the CD hologram back there. And it does, as you can see my fingerprints too, it does pick up some fingerprints, that Dior. And um, this is just like a neutral palette. Let me remove these little sponge applicators I never use. So this is just a neutral palette. Um, the color's coming up pretty true. There's a brown, which you can see, which has like a multi-tone sparkle. Um, this one is more bronzy down here. This is a darker brown. Um, this is a champagne, actually, that's coming off very bright. This is a champagne right here, and this is more of a cream down here, and this is totally coming off white in the camera. But okay, ooh, those, okay, the colors are coming off true right there. You can see it. You can obviously see in the middle that that is a pink, a frosty pink. So again, that's like um, champagne, dark brown, bronzy, more of a lighter bronzy brown, and then a champagne, um, I mean like an ivory, and then pink. All of them very pigmented, really enjoyed this one too more of a cool tone, and then we'll move on to um, blushes. And it was interesting in, in uh, getting everything together for this video, I totally forgot that I had this blush. I think I've used it maybe once. And this is in the new packaging with the black and the silver. And you see what I'm saying with the differences? Like why would they, I mean, really, like why would they change it? I mean, is it really did it really save that much money was it a marketing thing was it a PR I don't know was it a legal issue I just I don't know I just it makes me feel a little sad because I don't know how much more of these like kind of plain palettes I will be buying I really am not looking forward to it like I'll probably only buy limited edition from now on because I mean I don't know you can I don't know we'll see I, I shouldn't be totally downing it. Let's get on with it. This is, oh, I didn't say what the color was, but this is the Dior blush, and this is in 889 New Red. And when I pull it, let me see. I'll try to get the true color. It's so hard to get the true color on this one because it is like a neon red coral color. I think that's really kind of more of the true color. There it is, down there. So as you can see, it is bright, bright, bright. It is very pigmented. I, I mean, I think I've hardly ever used this because I had to be super, super careful with it and just barely dab my brush in it, even on my darker skin tone. So if you have a lighter skin tone, it's gonna be, you know, you need to be really careful when you use it. And again, I hope you can see there, Dior Blush New Red 889. Okay. Then we'll move on. I just got this one. I just hauled this one. This is the one that I'm wearing right now, and I think you can see it there. I have a little rosy glow, and that's what it is. I still have the box and everything, and you'll see I have the box for a few um, things. I still have the box for it. Let me 
doing this out of order. So this is the Rosy Glow, and it says Healthy Glow Awakening Blush, and this is in 001 Petal, which um, I believe that there's another one. There's like a orange base one. It looks like a light peach color. I've never seen it in the stores. I saw it online once. I don't know if it was like limited edition. They don't sell it anymore. I don't know. But it has that beautiful silver packaging that I love. And it's interesting when you see the back. This is interesting that it's the silver packaging, but as you can see in the back, it's plastic. It's clear plastic at the bottom. And you'll see some other ones I have are not like that. Um, so this one's kind of hard to open. It's magnetic. And there it is right there. And that's the true color as you can see it's like this pink with a like a blue base pink very like shocking pink color and it comes with a cute little brush that says Dior on it and as I said I use this today I think you can see like my rosy blush I can see it and it's okay what's special about it is that you know it's supposed to react with like the moisture in your skin and then become your own pinky color like it's a different color on everyone and it's true it does do that when I first put it on it looks very like light pink powder like powdery light pink and not very flattering but as the time goes on it does deepen and it does um, I wore it yesterday and I realized that I, when I went to go take it off with a makeup wipe that it was difficult to take off meaning I felt like it was staining my skin so it's like a um, a blush stain I would say if you have a chance to buy this, just buy it. It's not any more expensive than any other blush, but I think it's something very, very different. You won't regret buying it. My other blush is this one, and this is, if you can see there, so it's My Lady, and it's the Glowing Color Blush Palette. And this is really what, and this is in um, My Lady Zero, zero three sorry about all this glare but this packaging is so shiny um this is what i buy dior for is this amazing kind of high-end packaging for their artistry in in the makeup so it comes in the bigger box and the reason why it comes in the bigger box is because it comes with a little kabuki brush and it has the CD at the bottom there. So it's a really good brush. I mean, it's natural fibers, it's not synthetic. Obviously it comes in the velvet pouch like everything. And this one is in the silver packaging, but it's all silver. It feels like a gold bar in your hand. It is weighty. There is no way if you wanted to put this in your purse and carry it around and touch up during the day, you'd be crazy. You would break your arm. It is heavy, substantial, gorgeous. It's like a piece of jewelry is what it is. And then when you open it, it's even more beautiful in the pan. So you can see there um, obviously, I've used it because there's a little discoloration in the center, but I've used it quite a bit, and I hope you can see the dimension in this. It's not printed on. It's baked in. Those cords, those um, lines going through it have total texture, dimension, dimensionality, if that is a word. It, they are in there. Like, it is, they are baked in there. They're not going anywhere. I hope there I think that you can see there you see how they're shadowing on those crosses that's because it is fully baked in there textured in there absolutely love this this came in two colors and my only regret is that I didn't get the other color it's gorgeous and let's see I have a bronzer and this is the Dior skin nude tan and this is um, Healthy Glow Enhancing Powder again. So this is interesting that this came in the blue box as opposed to the silver box. Um, this one I have, it's the color is 004 Sunset. And I think they've changed the name of this one because this is an older version of it. 
Um, I bought it from someone um, um, that had purchased it but never used it before, so they had it for a while, and I think they've updated the name of this, but when you see it, you'll see that they do still carry this. Um, okay, so this one is also in the silver packaging, and it's all silver packaging, and it is weighty also, not as weighty as that blush, but still, I mean, it is all metal, and it has that gorgeous quilting on the front and so you know why I bought this as soon as I saw that quilting I'm gonna buy more of these um, and it's, it's magnetically closed there and then I'm just gonna hold this but it's hard to show you so it says nude on it obviously and then what's interesting about this is that if you do your brush this way it does come with a kabuki brush I don't know where I, what I did with it if you if you uh, draw the brush this way, it's a highlighter. If you draw it that way, it's darker and can be used more as a blush and contour. But I just swirl it all together. And if I ever want just like a natural glow to my cheeks, like especially when I'm wearing like a bold eye or a bold lip and I don't want to wear a crazy blush, I wear this. I pretty much wear this almost every single day to work and I just love it. So I need to purchase another one in this color and then I also, in the same kind of packaging, a regular bronzer, like solid color bronzer is in the same kind of packaging and I'm going to get one of those too. Okay, so that was for face and powders and then we can go back to... The other things I have for eyes, I have these um, Dior Shows, you can see the little CD there. So I have the Dior Show, Fus Dior Show Fusion Mono in 881 Hypnotique. Not sure if you're going to be able to see that there. And these are the cream shadows, they're like those um, Chanel D'Ombres or whatever. And so this is like a purple, this never comes off, there it is. So hard to come off on camera, it is that gorgeous. It's like purpley and gray and blue and you can even see a little green in there and it is beautiful. I literally just stick my finger in there, put it on the lid, smoke blend it up out at the top and that's it. I'm ready to go. One shadow, ready to go. And what's really cute, I don't have the boxes for for that. Um, I did throw them away. What's really cute is what comes in the box is like this little applicator. So it's a little silver applicator, obviously it says Dior on it, and when you open it and you put it together, it goes like into a little pencil, so it's like a sponge tip that you can dip in and use. I don't do that often, as I said, I just use my finger, but it's really cute how that comes with it. And then I have another one, the Dior Show Fusion Mono in 281 Cosmos. And it's neat, it's real glass, it's real, like this feels like metal on top. And then this one, let's see if I can get this color out, because this is amazing. So it's called Cosmos. As you can see, it's blue. It has so much shimmer and just like, um, like reflex. I mean, just a rainbow color reflex in there. And it is beautiful, okay? So I have those two. And then I have... Um, mascara so I did a big if you've been watching my videos you know I went crazy during um, uh, Nordstrom's you know buy two get one free mascaras and I bought all of the Dior Addict It Lash mascaras there if you can see that I still have this is the um, 272 in the blue I still have it in the box because I haven't even used it I'm not going to open it but you know you can see the color on mine it's a very vibrant blue I still haven't used it from was it it wasn't last year right it was from early in the summer the spring right something like that okay but I haven't used it but um, I have used these other two and it's so beautiful with the packaging there and then on the other side, you can see it has the Dior imprint. So, I mean, even for mascara, they are just like, you know, bringing it, bringing it out. I mean, you know, just pulling all out, all the stops and just bringing you that gorgeous luxury and glamour. 
So this one is the purple. What is this called? This is 162, obviously, in the purple color. I have this. I'm actually wearing this on my bottom lashes, but you can't really tell. I mean, this one was the difficult one to see on dark lashes. I guess if you had blonde hair, um, it would be probably amazing. Um, and then I also have the red one, and this is in 872. So it's, well, red, pink. It's hot pink is what it is. You can see there. And um, this one really shows up. So I haven't worn this a lot because I work in a pretty conservative office. And every time I wear it, I mean, it draws attention. Like people, like, you know, they look at me a little bit longer. They ask me about it. So it's just one of those things like, you know, not in a weird way, but it's just, it's a big attention grabber. So I think it's something that, you know, to wear on a night out or like on a weekend and not to work. And that's why I haven't worn it a lot, but I love it. The formula is amazing. The brush is amazing. It just grabs onto your lashes and really gets the color on and extends. So in the, I should get the black, I guess, to see so I can wear it more every day. But, you know, I already have three. How many more freaking mascaras do I need? Probably a lot more, but we're not going to go there. Okay, and then we're coming almost to the end. As far as lip products, I feel like I should have more, but I don't. And because I realize that I don't have that many, that's going to be my next thing. I just bought something yesterday that I wasn't really sure about and I think I'm totally going to return it and I'm going to buy a Dior lipstick instead of the one that I bought. So the one, the lipstick that I have on right now, which is really, I mean, it's pigmented, but it's more of a highly pigmented gloss is, you know, we've seen this, I've, you know, I, I, I apologize for showing this before, but it is a collection. So this is the Dior Addict Extreme in 866 Paparazzi. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But that's the one I have on and beautiful with the Dior imprint and, of course, the silver button. And when you open it, there's the lipstick. It's the one that I have on. Super glossy. Um, I would say if you have an issue with um, lipstick bleeding or going outside your lip line, then you will definitely need a lip liner with this. I don't have that issue, but even with this lipstick it is very slick so I could easily have that issue with this lipstick and then the one that my newest one that I just got the other day so this is the Diorific um, Golden Shock lipstick from this 2004 um, excuse me uh, 2014 holiday collection and that gorgeous gold bullet and I think I'm just gonna buy another one of these instead of what I just bought the other day I have not used this yet I know it's gonna be gorgeous I've seen it online um, and that it's the two lipsticks in one so that's beautiful but it's really all about the packaging and it even has, I don't know if it's going to show up, the Dior engraved at the bottom and it's just beautiful. And um, it's in gold as opposed to, as you notice, silver. So that makes it very special. All their holiday is in gold. Okay, so the big surprise at the end um, that I think, um, that I totally forgot about, um, I have a friend that works in retail who does not work in makeup, so to speak, in beauty, but it works in like visual design, and so he has access to beauty products and is very kind in gifting those, um, gifting beauty products to me um, a couple of times a year. And um, this is something that he gave me back in 2012. There was a collection, um, a collaboration between Dior and an artist, a German artist called Anselm Ryle. I don't have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correct. I'll put the information down um, in the, I'll put the, his name and all that information down below. Um, so he did handbags, he did scarves, and he also did some beauty products. And this is, these are three polishes out of a five piece set, which I did not realize that it was a five piece set that came in a beautiful box presentation, which I don't have. I guess he was just only able to get me these three. Um, and they're amazing. Like I don't use them that often. These are from 2012, as I said, but I could polish my nails with them today and it would be just great. Um, so they're still holding up, still beautiful, especially this one is I use a lot in the summer and it lasts and lasts and lasts. It's great lasting power. 
so if you want to know the names but these were all limited edition in 2012 you can still find them I think like on eBay so this one is 667 pink graffiti as you can see beautiful bright pink this one is amazing this one is called metallic silver and that's exactly what it is gorgeous and that number what was it 072 metallic silver and then this one is 687 ultraviolet which is a beautiful bright purple it was funny in my um, kind of my research to figure out what collection this these things were from um, I googled this and it's coming up just this one polish is selling for $45 on Amazon so it was definitely a collector's item and the biggest surprise, also a part of that collection, is this he gave me. And because it's from 2012, I never used it. And I, sh I, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't use it because it's old. But now that I'm so much into the makeup that I have, I wasn't really that much into um, using makeup as I was collecting makeup when he gave me this. And I feel like maybe I should try to use it. I don't know. Please let me know what you think of whether I should use this palette that came in that was from 2012 although it's never been used so let me know what you think okay so it comes in this beautiful black box and this is the Anselm as you can see there Real for Dior and it's called um, just eyeshadow palette limited edition that's it okay and I've seen these still on eBay for a lot of money um, so I could probably sell this if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So it comes in this black lacquered box. So pretty. And when you open the box, it has this little pamphlet that was done by the artist there, Anselm. And so in the little pamphlet, it's an arm holding the palette and then it goes on on the inside in this beautiful um, bright green to describe um, oops my camera cut out there um, hopefully I can add this piece so it has the little pamphlet as I said and when you remove the pamphlet you'll see it's all black velvet and comes in this black velvet pouch with this purple ribbon and you pull the ribbon to get the palette out of the box which there we go and inside the box there's like a little there you can see there there's a little well down there and at the bottom of that in its own little velvet pouch with the CD, you can see it there on it, so they're going the full mile here, is the applicator, so the brush, and I still have it in its little plastic packaging, and of course on the brush it says Dior. And the piece, piece de resistance, as they say, in its own black pouch with the CD is, again, that gorgeous silver case and this is even heavier than the blush believe it or not and when you open it up I still have the plastic pack plastic over it Let me get rid of that and I'm going to show this mirror real quick so you can see on the mirror is um, this that grid that quilting that um, that Dior Dior's famous for and then this is the actual palette I'll do this upside down make it easier for myself here and it is in a camouflage so as you can see there's sparkle in there so there's a black there's a dark gray a light gray a purple and it makes this camouflage print which was um, uh, important to the whole entire collection um, so try to get this closer these the colors are coming off true and you can see that sparkle and so this whole entire palette is just eyeshadow so you can swirl them you can try to use them individual with little brushes and um, 
let's see how many ounces is this so this is 12 grams 0.42 ounce of just eyeshadow you're not going to be able to see the writing on there because of the silver but it's it's just beautiful and this is the kind of artistry that Dior does and this is why I love Dior and this is why I have this collection video has really um, made me realize I really am a Dior addict and I will continue to be and um, I really look forward to buying more products um, I as you can see I don't have um, any like foundation or powder or concealer or even eyeliner so those are the next things that are going to be on my list um, Dior has a wonderful um, foundation color tone range and so I should be able to find something so I look forward to that so thank you very much for joining me and for sticking with me this video is going to be long and I hope to see you again soon bye bye